So, Dick, you've got your art book there. Yeah. Your lifetime in art. Uh, it basically encompasses your entire, you know, career, your life as far as art. And um, there's a particular chapter that we kind of wanted to focus on here, and it's basically titled "Color: My View." So, so your view, Dick, on color. I, you know, wanted to ask you, like, we see all your, you know, your great drawings online and all the artwork you've done. When you're doing a color drawing or uh, a drawing, at what point do you start thinking about the color? I, I don't separate the line and the color. I separate the color and the line. It's a different kind of thing because I, I know the line that comes out usually comes out of me first, the flow. It's the one I'm going to stay with, but the color I may, I, it may keep changing. Consequently, I'm I'm thinking of the harmony and contrast of colors, like goes back to the the 1837 book by uh, uh, Eugene Chavrul, the great French scientist, who was hired by the French government to uh, to fix the the dyes in the Gobelins tapestry factories because they're having trouble with the colors. There would be no impressionism if, there, if, if he didn't, uh, if he had not done that. And the first major artist to use his theories and was a good friend of his was Delacroix. And Delacroix comes just before the impressionists. Uh, the other one, I, another person that influenced me that I have studied uh, is in the Bauhaus theories. Uh, Johannes Itten's The Art of Color, which uh, he taught the Bauhaus in the 1920s and 30s and before and, and left with all the guys that, that had to get out of Germany because of Hitler. And uh, otherwise they would have been killed and their work would have been destroyed. When, when we think of color, when I think of color, I think of myself as creating a mood or an impact. An impact would be more direct when the colors are like this, like in my tapestry series with oil paint. In oil paint, I want texture, I want thickness, I want all those things that, that is oil paint. But I want the colors to come on top and, and go on top and, and bounce off each other. I'm not interested in having the color in, in, in something like this do absolutely nothing. When I'm working in, in the fluid acrylics, that's my, my, in my current series, the, the fluid acrylics, I go many layers and of the same, of, 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 of variations of the same color. But I, so I get a solid effect on some things and then I come back and I may shade some and leave some solid. I wanna play the two against each other. Color is the playing of each color against the other color. And what is this color doing to that color? And that's what I want people that are starting out to really work at and to work at a, the triads, the red, yellow, and blue, the orange, green, and violet, and so on. And eventually you to have, that's how you arrive at the color wheel. The color wheel does not exist without the triads. All the things that we do in art today that, that uh, we can do anything we want and you see all kinds of color combinations, but the basics are there. There's some, their basics are there for people that are just starting out and want to take on the impact of color. What is the impact of color is that not only just the colors, but the colors next to the color. If you have a red and you put a blue next to it, what is it doing having the blue next to it? That red is not the same as red by itself. That's important to understand that. When you're making abstract art, as I do uh, um, uh, abstract humanism, you might call it, because I'm talking about the, the human, right? The, in this series, the human pain, the human drama. I want the colors to reflect that. When I'm doing watercolors, I want them soft softer and more quiet and then all of a sudden this black line appears around the forms and I want the black lines not to be the same black as I would use in the in the 
in the uh, 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 fluid acrylics. The black that I use in the f f fluid acrylics is actually an India ink. When I'm doing watercolors and the small watercolors, I want an intimate, more, uh, more ethereal feeling to the color, not so bold. And then the boldness comes in when I bring the black line in. The black line in my work gives me a chance, and I've talked about this before, but to redraw the drawing. And the colors are part of the drawing. When we say design, or the French say design, design, the French call drawing design. They call drawing design. To understand color is to understand the, the scientific views of color that Chevrolet had that made it possible for for impressionism when they when the, the the how do you put a blue next to a red what happens if you step back and it becomes violet these things come from Chevrolet but what we're looking at always looking at in terms of uh, my work is playing against the rule and with the rule because I'm always trying to break the rule at the same time make the rule I'm making another rule against that rule abstraction is the art of abstracting the core of something as well as the emotion of something and when you have abstract expressionism from the 40s and 50s those artists were masters of getting that the gut out, the vomit, that whole thing. If you do that today, it becomes decorative because it's, if it's not from you, but it has to be from you. It can't be from somebody else. You can't just make decoration. Abstract art has become a very big decorative item in the large, in the lobbies of uh, corporations and things because it does, won't say anything. I want my work to say something. I want the gut feelings of, of the human form to be there. Based, and a lot of it comes of my mask that we've talked about before. I, the mask, the colors in the mask can be all kinds of colors. It doesn't, I don't have one set of color rules for masks and not, neither does any of the cultures that I get the masks from. To go back and look at artists that I admire, it would be for not just their color, it would be for a lot of other reasons too. What they're saying, what their gut instinct is, t is talking about, and perhaps how the paint is handled, that sort of thing. Thomas Albright of the San Francisco Chronicle said of my work, Dick Crispo has a color sense like Van Gogh or Gauguin. Drawing is the backbone of the, of the visual art. Color is the soul of it. With, with a sincere thumbs up. And that was from the art critic, Thomas Albright. The soul of the work is in the colors. The line of the work is in the drawing. And the drawing may decide with the story, but the color decides the feeling and the mood. 